I encourage student engagement and community building through the use of forums, Blackboard Collaborate, a four-part group project, and individual group project evaluations. Now, forums may not be new to online education, but the type of questions are meant to be thought-provoking. Um, I often ask students to share their real-life experiences with the course content. I also, and here I ask them to share some of their um, assignments and get feedback from other students. I ask them to, and other forums, I ask them to share challenges that they, that they have experiences experience and how they have overcome them. Um, one of the most innovative parts of BUSN 250 is the group project. This is a four-part group project that spans over the first 10 weeks of the course and is designed to promote authentic online collaborative learning using real-world scenarios. Implementing a real-world group, real group project led to greater understanding of how the course content can be applied to these situations. Um, Students collaborating in a virtual environment can be very difficult to navigate, but it's becoming more of a necessary skill in today's work environment. Um, each, each part of the group project requires students to collaborate in different ways on different types of technologies. In order to fac better facilitate this group project, I employ Blackboard Collaborate. Students are can schedule time with me to meet online in a virtual environment and also time online to meet within the, their own groups to complete the requirements of the group project. Um, this is the second time that I'm implementing this group project as a part of BUSN 250 and the first time I did it was back in spring 2013 in which um, some of the student feedback from the eCafe evaluation showed that students enjoyed the experience of having an online group project as opposed to just doing their individual work. This led to um, greater student engagement and student interest in the course content. I facilitate communication using email, forums, individual rubrics, peer evaluation, screenshot tutorials, custom created videos, and Blackboard collaborate. Everything is outlined in the schedule as to how many points it's worth and to when it and the date and the time that it's due. Um, in the forums itself, there's a disc, um, the description here instructs the students what to respond to and also gives them a specified word amount that they have to um, post by a certain date and time. Um, as for the group projects from day one, all the group project des um, descriptions are posted online for all the students to see which gives them a description of what they are supposed to do and what they should submit at each part. Okay. Furthermore, students are also supplied or provided these rubrics for each part and so they know what to expect um, from each portion of the group project. Right. Um, after the group project is completed, I upload their group project as well as their other project rubrics here to their Dropbox. So students receive a detailed detailed feedback on how they performed on the group project or on how they performed on individual unit projects. I also have created custom tutorials for students to um, fill the gap in their knowledge in terms of how to use the SAM system and or how to use different features of Microsoft Office. I've also created um, certain Excel solver tutorial videos using Camtasia in which students can watch a video through Lao Lima to fill the gaps in their knowledge in terms of what they didn't understand on their on their assignments. Furthermore, for the group project, I've created a collaborative and participation evaluation through Google Forms. Students complete this after each portion of the group project where they evaluate themselves and evaluate the group members on their contributions to the group project. This is in, this is included in their individual rubric as part of the grade. And I also use Blackboard Collaborate to facilitate, facilitate communication between myself and the students and within the students among, amongst themselves within this, uh, amongst themselves so that they can better complete their online group project. I organize my Lao Lima site to include only the tools that students need to use for throughout the course. I have everything listed here on the syllabus and schedule, and the set schedule is actually included in the syllabus, but I take it out here to make it easily accessible for my students. Students can see directly from the schedule what is due each week, how much points it's worth, and what is the due date and time. And this is laid off in the beginning of the semester for the entire course. Um, in addition, 
to that, um, one of the active learning strategies that I use is real world scenarios to help facilitate learning in the classroom. Um, students have to, in, in this group project here, students have to take a real world scenario and develop a solution using these four parts and have deliverables after each part. Um, in order to also create more learning materials for my students, I actually created some Camtasia videos here that uh, allow me to explain to students the complex nature of the assignment that they just did or will be doing so that they can better understand how to go about completing their projects. Um, the SAM website is a website that the students use regularly to complete their training and exams. Now, the SAM, SAM website is excellent in providing students the opportunity to um, observe certain things, practice other things, and um, they can come back to the training at any single time throughout the semester to relearn things or review things that they may have forgotten. I also use forums here to facilitate reflective learning in which students must reflect on what they have just learned, identify why, how or why it was challenging, and how they will utilize this in their personal and professional lives. Uh, furthermore, I created custom tutorials for students to use and access at any time to fill in the gaps in their knowledge so that, for example, here, if they didn't know how to create a compressed zip folder, they can come to this tutorial, follow the pictures, and create a uh, compressed zip folder to turn in their assignments. objectives and outcomes for my course is as is stated clearly in the syllabus here with the student learning outcomes along with the course content for, for each section of the course. This course content aligns directly with what you see in the course schedule here. Um, grades are posted often and regularly. Um, students can also see their updated grade, um, their live updated grade on their Lao Lima gradebook. Um, I have details in here about every, how much points they earned on every single assignment and I post this and I update the gradebook about two to three days after each assignment is done. So students can count on their gradebook being updated and being informed of how they're performing in the course. Um, SAM also allows the students to see as well as myself um, detailed reports on how they did each training and exam from the SAM website. So as you can see here they can easily see what they got correct or what they got wrong on different features that they are doing in the training or in an exam. Um, I also upload individual student rubrics for each project that is done offline and each part of the group project and I upload these to the Dropbox within a few days after each project or part of the project is due. Now students can open up this in PDF format so they can see easily why they got the score they got and and they have comments on the bottom here for them. Um, in addition, students often share their projects or their assignments online using forums to get feedback from their peers about, um, about their projects and maybe how they could possibly improve them. SAM website provided by the publisher provides a lot of on-demand training where students can actually come in here and do a training, redo a training as many times as they want. I have set these trainings to be always available for so students can come in here at any time and complete or repeat any of the trainings here to provide more learner support for our students. Um, in addition to the SAM tutorials, I also have tutorials that I've created myself such as registering on SAM and completing assignments and exams on exam to clearly uh, communicate to my students what is expected when doing these things. Um, I also have other tutorials I've created such as creating a compressed zip folder that allows students to um, learn how to use these features when submitting their assignments. In addition to those, I also include the Laulima student guide here for students to access in case they have any problems with Laulima, they can easily reference this directly from our Laulima page. So, 